saludo, mi gente, bendiciones, los hermanos hermano Joan y de nuevamente hoy estamos agradecidos con el Señor, ¿por qué? Porque podemos hacer un nuevo video y podemos declarar de que todo lo podemos en Cristo, porque Él nos fortalece. Así como viene el título de este video, nosotros vamos a estar viendo el review del Korg, eh, el nuevo Korg. <ríe> Yo ni sé cómo es que se pronuncia, Nautilus, no sé. Pero ese es el nuevo Korg que tienen disponible. Muchos de ustedes me han preguntado eh, que haga un review de ese piano y vamos entonces a hacer el review de este nuevo Korg. Espero que ustedes lo disfruten. Voy a tratar de, tran de trans translate, <ríe> de... Translatar, translate. ¿Cómo se dice translate en español? <risa> bueno, a tratar de decir en español lo que él dice en inglés, ¿ok? Eso se llama translate en inglés. Yo no sé cómo se... Wow, no sé mucho inglés, me está olvidando el español. Así que vamos a empezar. Espero que cada uno de ustedes le den like a este video, comenten y me dejen saber qué ustedes piensan de este video. Vamos allá. Hi guys, Jacob Dupre here. I've got the Korg Nautilus right here in front of me. It's a very powerful instrument that Korg has created. It's very similar to the Kronos. It has a lot of the same sounds, capabilities, but it's more streamlined and just as capable of an instrument. And I'm really excited to show it to you. Un parecido muy similar a lo que es el Core Chronos. Ahí podemos ver la pantalla que es súper, súper similar el, el parecido entre ese y el Core Chronos. Eh, el interface del piano se ve bien. Me gustan los interfaces así negro. Eh, los colores a la izquierda. Lo único que estoy viendo es que esto nos trae como los naps para subirlo o para asignar eh, diferentes voces a cada uno de los um, layers o de, de los sliders. Eso no tiene nada de eso. So, está raro. Quizá todo se hace en la pantalla. Vamos a ver. Start out by clicking the mode button here, which brings us to the mode select screen. You have the set list, which many of you will recognize from the Kronos, which allows you to go between sounds that you've created presets. Ok, so está buscando y está diciendo que tú le das mode y después le da a set list y ahí tú vas a buscar los sonidos y otras cosas. Sounds quickly and easily. You go back to mode, you have program mode which allows you to look within the specific sound engine that you have called up. This is the piano SGX sound engine which is one of the ones that has some additional sounds and has been upgraded. Um, there are nine sound engines in the Nautilus, the same nine that are in the Kronos. So that's another thing brought over. Ok, so, tiene los mismos nueve motores de, de que tiene el Kronos. Ok, so, como el es SGX, el piano, todo eso, el, todo, todo lo que tiene el Kronos. Para mí que esto es una versión más barata de lo que es el Kronos. Igual que lo que es el Mode DX, esto es lo que hicieron yo creo from the Kronos. You have combination, which allows you to layer multiple sounds together. You can ok, en combination tú pones diferentes sonidos juntos. Entonces los layers, ok, so yo creo que esto se controla de aquí de la pantalla. Mm, no está mal, no está mal. Control the volume of all those different sounds in the mixer there. Sam tú viste lo que sucedió ahí, mira. A eso que yo le tengo miedo, que yo esté bajando un sonido y se baje a todo o que lo esté subiendo y se suba demasiado mira mira you can control the volume of all ah. those different sounds viste como brincó viste como brincó sampling is a really great feature because it allows you not only to sample internally so you can sample internal sounds in the Nautilus but you can also sample external sounds um, it's also worth mentioning that in the sequencer you can record you know if you want to record an electric guitar directly into this you can there are inputs on this key ok so tú puedes grabar una guitarra eléctrica directa en este piano y puedes también samplear so yo creo que la voz puedes manipularla también desde ahí. Board, so you can you can do that. So it really is like the DAW inside of a keyboard, right? A workstation. Global mode 
allows you to change a lot of the internal settings, of course, things like the damper polarity, the foot, foot switch polarity, things like that, uh, common internal features. We go back to mode, then there's media, which is where you can control connecting to a computer, USB interfacing, things like that. Let's dive into some of the sounds. We'll go to the set list. Vamos de los sonidos ahora. And let's pull up a piano. Let's do the Italian grand piano. I can use the quick access buttons over here to go between, if I click A, now I'm on set list. If I click B, now I can look at the sound engine. So this is the SGX2 sound engine. One of the really cool things about it, about the keyboard, about the whole Nautilus, is the touch screen. And the touch screen is, I personally really like it. It's really easy to use and responsive. And you can do cool things like this. You can change, you can change the lid on the... Es increíble, oíste. <laughs> Yo creo que, para, que este es uno de los pianos que está más cercano a un piano acústico. Piano, just by dragging it. So check out the difference there. Vamos, vamos a ver si se escucha la diferencia. Vamos a ver. Escuchen. Escucha. Pero claro. Me gusta más cuando está abierto. El sonido suena más rico. Of course, you get control over other things too, like damper resonance, damper noise, mechanical noise. You just really get a lot of control over nuance of the sound, just like you get with the Kronos, right? But let's listen to it a little bit, just so you can hear how great these piano sounds are. Sound is great, right? But it's a little bit dry, so maybe that's add some reverb to that. So ahora le va a agregar un poco de reverb porque para él está un poquito seco el sonido. You can access the knobs over here. If you just press them, they'll come out, and then you can twist and get your effect like that. So we already have the reverb out, so let's go ahead and add some. We can add other things too. Say we want to change the resonance. The cutoff. This is the 88 key version of the Nautilus that has the RH3 key bed, and it's weighted, so that means it's heavier in the bottom, lighter in the top, like a grand piano. I like the feel of this piano, I think it's nice. There is also, though, there's a 61 key and a 73 key. So, trae el 61, 73 y 88, la cual es este version, and those have a lighter touch, a lighter action to them. Another feature of the Nautilus is smooth sound transitions. So that means when you go from one sound to another, the first sound will not drop out. Make so, él va ahora a mostrar lo que es la transición de sonido. So, lo que está diciendo es que de un sonido a otro no se va a notar la diferencia cuando cambias. Making it smoother when you're performing. So, if we go to the set list, I can show you that. 
If I go to say the upright piano here, and then I switch to another sound, you'll hear the upright continue to sound through the change of sounds. Next, let's talk about, <laughs> about the dynamics knob. The dynamics knob is basically like your velocity control. It allows you to either bring something out, say something you want to be able to play really loudly, but you don't want to work as hard, or it lets you play something kind of soft and be a little bit more um, maybe delicate with what you're playing, especially if it's something technical that could be kind of hard to play that way. So I'll turn dynamics on. And I'll put the knob all the way down. And now I'm going to play something kind of quick. Vamos a ver si se ve la diferencia cuando prende la dinámica. Eso es lo que te ayuda a poner algo muy fuerte o a poner algo bien soft o suave. Vamos a ver. But it's going to be, you know, kind of quiet and delicate, right? Va a estar de que silencioso y delicado. Vamos a ver. Now, if I were to play the same thing and turn dynamics all the way up, ahora va a poner la dinámica todo para la derecha y vamos a ver si se escucha la diferencia. See how it's bringing it out? Sí, sí. So, say I was doing something kind of fast, maybe I was playing some runs or delicate things. You know, if you put dynamics, if I turn dynamics off, right? Sounds like that. Now I'm going to work the same amount that I just did. I'm not going to play any harder and hear how it sounds. It's hitting. Suena, suena mejor con la dinámica prendida, sí. Hitting the higher velocity of that sound and bringing it out more. Of course, the opposite effect would happen if you turned it all the way down. It Tigre puede correr la, la escala rápido, man. <laughs> doesn't stand out as much. Now I want to go into the sequencer to show you some of the songs that are already built in, just to give you a sense for how great of a tool it is. Vamos a ver las canciones que ya están grabadas o almacenadas en el Nautilus. How awesome it is. So we can go in here and we can select one of the songs that's already in there. Let's play the one called Infected by That Sound. That sounds like it would be pretty cool. Esa cosa fue grabado ahí mismo dentro de, del Nautilus. So ya tú no necesitas un programa de, de, de edición ni nada. Todo tú lo puedes hacer ahí. Ay, padre. Yo espero que no me den un copyright. Si ustedes ven que yo salto esta parte, <ríe> porque me dieron un copyright. So you saw me there. I used that as a example for me to kind of manipulate that track while it was playing. And you can see that I can go, if I go to volume here, I can change the volume of each individual track, the MIDI tracks and the audio tracks. And I can select all of them like this. And you can see the levels coming up. Let me go to a different one and show you a little bit more of that. You can also go here and you have mute and solo buttons. This is where you can control that. So think if you're the one that's creating this song, right? Say 
you know, you're still in a different stage of it. You're kind of just starting to write some things and you're still in the early stages of the creative process. So you're adding new tracks. You're still kind of trying to decide what you want it to sound like. You're also trying to mix it and produce a track because most likely you want to perform along with this or you want to produce it in here and then export it so you can, you know, send it or share it online or something. So just like you would do if you were, you know, using DAW software and you have a mixer and you have multiple tracks and you're recording audio and MIDI or you're in a studio doing it with an engineer, you can do those same things right here in the keyboard. So lo que te está diciendo lo que te dije anteriormente, que tú puedes hacer todo lo que puedes, todo lo que puede hacer un programa de edición ahí mismo en el Nautilus. Ya tú sabes. Por eso que te cuentan tanto esos programas. So lo que yo sí le digo a cada uno de ustedes, que si compran un teclado de esta índole, eh, aprendan todo, inside out, desde adentro para afuera. Keyboard. So let's play another one of the songs just to hear it. Uh, how about Energy of the Earth? So you can hear that's a very complex arrangement, right? I kind of went through and tried to solo some of the different drum tracks. There's some processed kind of percussion sounds. Um, there's the electric guitar that's kind of sort of leading a lot of it. So lo que está describiendo todo lo que hizo que pudo cambiar sonido, bajarlo, subirlo, eh, manipular la guitarra y todo eso. That's what's so cool about workstations like the Nautilus. You can create these huge arrangements, produce the whole thing. You can add real instruments. You can, you know, like I said, you can record a live guitar into this if you want to. And you can also add MIDI tracks and all the other stuff you could do with DAW or other software. I want to give you a little bit more of a taste of the sounds that are in here. So we're going to go to program. Yo espero que ahora, por favor, ponga los electric pianos, los pads y todo eso. Vamos a ver and go into the category so we can pick. And there are so many categories of sounds. Again, this is like something I say a lot, but this is definitely one of those keyboards where you won't run out of sounds, uh, especially just the stuff that's pre-built, that's already pre-designed. I mean, there's just some great sounds in there, especially the layered sounds are really neat. Um, so you have piano, keyboard, organ, uh, bell, mallet, strings, vocal, brass, woodwind, guitar, and then all kind of synthesizers, uh, special effects, and drum category as well. So let's just go, the keyboards are really cool. Um, and it lets me show you something that the Kronos is known for and what Korg likes to do is name a lot of the patches, um, the presets around songs, right? So here's one that's uh, George Duke Old and Funky. Also, Básicamente lo que hace Korg es que, por ejemplo, una canción, La Niña de Tus Ojos, o Marco Sui, utiliza un tipo de piano. Entonces, si Korg lo toma y vi ese mismo piano y la, lo mismo que utiliza Marco Sui, lo pusiera en el Korg, si lo pusiera en el Korg, sonaría igualito el sonido. O sea, toman ese sonido y lo, rep lo duplican. <ríe> o hacen una réplica de ese sonido y lo ponen en el piano. Así que eso es súper bien. Mira, así que tú vayas a tocar para Marco Sui, tú quieres tocarlo por lo menos un 80% bien. Es one Herbie's Butterfly, which has to be Herbie Hancock, the one and only. If we keep going forward. You'll find a few here, some claves, just to give you a little taste of that. You can skip to that category. There are actually categories within 
the main ones on the left side. So here's clav, harpsichord. As I was saying, there's some really great layered sounds and some combination sounds in here. Um, there's one I really like in the piano section right there called ping pong piano. Just listen to how Este le gusta mucho el que se llama ping pong piano. Vamos a ver. All this is. I feel like you could write a song just with this. That's cool. Let's check out a few other sounds. I'm just going to roll through them now and just play you a little bit of each one. Here's the layer section in piano. Here's some piano and voice. Go into the organ section. Prague chords. El órgano suena bien. Try a different organ, jazzy. Fox organs, ha ha. Eso no suena como un órgano, no. Suena bien. A few more organs here that are named after some songs, as I was mentioning before. This one's called Brown Eyed Girl Organ. Uh, Rising Sun Organ. <laughs> Let's check out some strings. We go to the strings here. Let's go to ensemble. Vamos a ver los strings. Strings. Vamos a ver. Do big camera strings. Maybe some synth strings. Let's go to. Otro tipo de. 
tape three violins. The strings. This is probably cool. The violin. Wonder if there's a drum beat. That's cool. I could see myself adding like a little keys to that, like some piano under that and a nice bass line. I think that would be cool. Let's check out a different one just for fun. They have solo strings as well. Here's string quartet two. Brass. And of course, we have some classic synth brass in here. But we have real brass as well. Ensemble, big fat brass. This is big fat brass. Hey, utilizando eso en un merengue, miren, duro. ¿Qué ustedes creen? That sounds really convincing to me. So if you're doing your, you know, cover band gig and you need, uh, <laughs> your Michael Jackson backgrounds, Bay Area funk brass. That's funny. Bass, of course, tons of basses, acoustic bass. Mira lo bajo. Electric basses as well. Slap bass, of course. Fretless bass. Algo que esto me, este piano me está dando una idea porque uno puede, eh, ¿cómo le digo? Hacer una canción, las canciones que se van a tocar y ya uno necesita baterista. <laughs> Eso sería bueno. Great. Let's check up a few. So, si falta un músico, no se siente tanto la falta. Tú lo que graba la canción antes de tiempo, la pone toda junta y ya. Heavy. Other sounds. Oop, get back into category. Let's go to some lead synths. But then hard synths as well.
So one of the cool things about the Nautilus is it has a lot of those kind of standard sounds, you know, a lot of the sounds you'd normally use, a lot of the presets that are named after certain songs, a lot of songs that you might play in a cover band, but there's also a lot of unique sounds and special sounds that have been sampled um, from real sounds, you know, recorded and then, you know, messed with and layered and, and manipulated in different ways. So there's some really unique special sounds in here. Um, if we go to SFX, we can hear some natural sounds. So Vamos a los efectos. here's one called Perfect Storm. Or subsonic war drums. So some good movie score stuff in here. That's the thing. A lot of people maybe don't think about a keyboard like this as being a tool for a composer, um, especially maybe somebody that's doing scores or needs some bigger sounds like that. But um, I mean, you could totally use that for something like that. It would work great. Um, so those are some of the natural sounds. Here's some synthetic ones in the synthetic category. Here's one called, ooh, dying in space. Very depressing. So that's some pretty intense stuff. And actually, as you noticed, I had latch mode on and latch, as you know, will when you play a note in an arpeggiator or something like that, it'll keep the sound repeating and looping, right? But if I just turn drum mode on, now we can just hear those sounds. So this whole keyboard, this is called Cinema Effect Collection. And each one of the notes on the keyboard is set to trigger a different loop. And it's all these huge kind of cinematic sounding things. That's awesome. No. No. I think he's saying no. Four. <laughs> six. Six. Order six to six. Yeah. So see, for me, I, I actually do score films. I've done that before and done that work. And to me, hearing this here, especially if I'm in the writing mode and I'm like, oh, I'm looking for an impact sound for the moment that this thing happens, or I'm looking for something suspenseful in the background when this thing happens, um, it's an awesome tool. I could just sit here and play with these sounds all day. It's really fun. This has been a look at the Korg Nautilus. I hope it's helped you. Así que mi gente, te ha sido el review del... Cork Nautilus, de, Nautilus, déjame saber, o Nautilus, qué sé yo. Déjame saber ustedes qué ustedes piensan de ese teclado. Me gustó, pero voy a tomar el próximo video para hablar de mi opinión sobre el Cork Nautilus. Así que, mi gente, te lo a todos y nos vemos en el próximo video. Hasta la próxima.